Hi, and I'm Matt, and welcome to this holiday, some holiday edition of Keeping It Cereal, live from Flo Rida. Um, we have a lot of American cereals today. It's, it's the only place I could actually actually get them. No one sent me any because I didn't. I don't have the um, PO box. Let's just eat some fucking cereal. The shell thing. What? The shell thing. All right. Yeah, here. So remember, Florida people, you gotta keep it. Ran out of room. Cereal. And where did I get all these fabulous American cereals? Well, I'll tell you. So here on Keeping It Cereal, we're on location at a giant uh, food Walmart where one of these things kind of feeds half a country. So we have a lot of Frosted Flakes here, Honey Nut, uh, that we have regular that we have chocolate, but then Frosted Flakes with some type of polar bear from Ice Climbers. He's up there with the pole in a very weird position. That's strange. So how can they call this Frosted Flakes when there's Frosted Flakes here and here? It's because Frosted Flakes are a generic term and they can't copyright that. It's like calling it like Sugar Flakes or something. There's nothing they can do about it, but you just gotta trust Tony on the box there with the lustful horny eyes staring at his own product is a little strange but there's that frosted flakes and then there's the giant family size twin pack if you're like one of those weird christian families that has like 87 kids garbage garbage gar whoa okay nutter butter uh, i'm not gonna buy this because i've already kind of done this cereal but this is amazing if you want a good alternative to a uh, reese's puffs nutter butters the butt and the nut together. This cereal is quite amazing. It's very, very peanut buttery, a soft texture. This is an absolute winner. Buy it for your children, your loved ones, your friends, your family, whoever. Do not buy it for your enemies because they do not deserve the nut butt. There's a lot of Lucky Charms nowadays. Uh, this one is really quite good. Uh, chocolatey winter Lucky Charms. If you're depressed by winter, and I know I am, uh, this actually make uh, your days you know, not as terrible. We have this Irish man that that is just working with this bad Olaf, and they're just making it. They're just chocolatey corn cereal with winter marshmallows. Um, this is pretty good. I had a box a, a few months ago. It was, it was an early conquest. I don't really want to talk about it now. But quite a good one. It's only in family size, and it's a limited edition just for the winter, so get it if you can see it. Is that a mushroom, Lucky? Hmm. Tasted it, tasted it, tasted it, tasted Whoa, okay. No, you're coming with me. Had it, had it, had it, had it, had Whoa, oh, yeah. yes, yes. Thank you. Now, when we last talked about cereal in general, like years ago, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, that guy looks very inoffensive. But then on the back, we have this Lynchian Lovecraftian nightmare. Now, you can see this Cinnamon Toast Crunch guy is just aghast that this man has accepted the abyss into his life. I don't know what's going on. It's not getting any better down here. Some sort of euphoria has enraptured this Cinnamon Toast Crunchy man. And then this guy is at the center of the madness of it all. I don't know what the marketing campaign of Cinnamon Toast Crunch is, but I think it might be corrupting today's youth. So let's talk about Malto Meal. Malto Meal just basically sneaks into the factories at night and just steals the cereal from the name brand. So here we have Berry Colossal Crunch, which is just basically Crunch Berries and Captain Crunch. And over here we have more Berry Colossal Crunch. And over here we have Oat Blender, Choco Roos, then Fruity Dino Bites, which is just Fruity Pebbles. Peanut Butter Cups look familiar. And look at how many goddamn many bags of Malto Meal there are. Children need this to survive nowadays. I don't even know how they even get through their day without Malto Meal. So yes, you are not high. There is a Pop-Tart cereal. Now people have told me this cereal is, is from the past. In the 90s, uh, there was a Pop-Tart cereal. I have no memory of it, but I was a poor boy in Canada, so fuck what I know. Um, this is frosted brown sugar. There's also a strawberry flavor. Um, and there's almost a delicious, the fucking shadows, the delicious filling in every bite, in every, in every bite. So um, there's a lot of uh, Pop-Tarts products coming out of someone's ass, I guess Kellogg's. Uh, there's the Pop-Tarts thing up in the top corner there. You can see it. 
Yeah, that stuff is okay. And then there's the pop tarts over there, down in the bottom. There, there you go. But uh, we're gonna be trying these brown sugar cinnamons. Uh, hopefully, they're good. Pop tarts, I kind of have a love hate relationship with because I love to hate them. Let's take a look at the back. Let's just get this out of the way. Uh, unleash ridiculous levels of Pop Tarts flavor with filling and frosting in every bite. So, if you are a piece of cereal, a, a loop, a corn nuggie, whatever you are, this is probably horrifying to you because this is like having a human body displayed out and going through all of its organs. So, if you are a piece of cereal and you're watching this video, I apologize. Not really. So, um, here, here's the, the, the core of, of the Pop-Tarts. Um, journey to the center of crunch and wow, filling, okay? Whoa, there's a lot of flavor in those layers. Facts, sprinkles make everything more fun. Crime Tina, can you say yes or no? Is that true? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, happiness is frosting on both sides, but isn't it better to have frosting on one side so you covet it? when you're on the other non-frosting side. This is basic religious math here. This is a bunch of crap, but it's interesting. It's better than the standard old kids jokes or whatever. Maybe they should dissect every cereal kernel, but I guess they're leaving out all the mounds of sugar and artificial flavors and that, that doesn't sell cereal, but uh, there's amazing Pop-Tarts flavor all up in your bowl. We don't know what to put at the bottom, so let's just shit out a stupid maze. Oh, is Cedric Diggory dead at the end of this? Oh, timely. All right, so first things first, smell test. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You're making me want to smell it. You smell it. <laughs> Ooh. 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 All right, we got this nice flow rider bowl. Just get a few in there because um, Pop Tart cereal, uh, the highest sugar I've seen in a damn fucking while 15 grams. And this is also super high for calories. So, this is all we're going to be doing. And of course, we got some patented sunny Florida dairy 2% reduced fat milk. 2% isn't reduced fat. That's pretty fatty. Uh, but it's 37% less fat than whole milk. I should hope so. So let, let's let's add this the Floridian and cows. See what they bring to the table. The uh, Pop Tarts bites, which is a new snacky cakey thing, those are way too sugary for me to not like them. Let's see how these hold up. That's really good. That is one of the most unique crunches I've ever had. It doesn't taste too sugary. It tastes like little bits of like toast, like like not cinnamon toast crunch, but it's very interesting. It doesn't taste like Pop-Tarts at all to me. There's a lot there in the mouth. They're, they're very big. So my mouth is filled with this load. And like, just like Pop-Tarts themselves, they're filled with loads as well. So it's very load and load. They're kind of getting a weird soggy consistency though already. So that's kind of a record. That's not bad, but it's very one note. They're just kind of like this, crunchy like oat flavor and then there's just kind of a little sprinkle of sugar inside cinnamon caramel whatever the fuck's in these um but it's not as bad as i thought i thought it tastes very artificial it kind of doesn't it tastes very homemade somehow so that's surprisingly good wow i bet the strawberry is probably a little more artificially because it's strawberry so what i give pop tart cereal uh that's a very enthusiastic kinda next we have kellogg's unicorn it just just simply unicorn. Uh, this is made by Two Snacks, I guess. Um, it has a magic cupcake flavor. Now, I think the unicorn franchise is a thing. I'm not sure if it's made specifically for like uh, food, but there seems to be other products in the unicorn dynasty. Um, I think there's some ice cream, some things like that, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we're gonna look at the back of the box in a second, but I really wanna talk about this. Now, this is clearly a cereal meant and marketed to, to the little girl types, which is fine. But why only now? You ever think about that? Are there any female cereal icon? You know, there's the captain, Tony the Tiger. I mean, Tony can be a name for a lady, but I don't think Tony's a lady. I'm not sure. But like, why? So, now's the time to go deep into an expose I titled, Where the Girls At? So before we go to the back of the box, let's go to the side of the box. What's your unicorn name? All right, so take the first name, take the first name of your first letter. Sorry, take your first name. It's early in the morning. 
then add the month you were born. So my name is Matthew. I am Violet. Spirit Dancer. I knew it. Yours is bad. I know. Ladybug Spirit Dancer. Horrible. Ladybug Spirit it Dancer. It makes no sense. Then. I'm in on the back of the box. Something no one will ever do. It's coloring. Now, usually uh, a cereal box, it just doesn't have the texture for coloring. I doubt this will work. All right. Fuck me. It actually kind of works. Does it rub off? Does it rub? It doesn't rub off. Hey, I'm wrong all of the time. All right, smell test. Unicorn cereal, you can see it's just blue and red and some purple. Where's all the other colors? Where's yellow? I don't know. Oh my God. I can't even describe that. It smells like a, a factory of big goods all at once, but it's on fire. Is this, is this not a prop? Is this actual cereal? Can you eat this? <laughs> We'll find out. Uh, all right. Yeah. Oof. I'm actually. Oof. This is for this is this is for kids. That's shit. <laughs> That's awful. It doesn't taste like anything. It, it's just it's just loops with some vague flavors. It doesn't taste like cupcakes. It's it's similar to the uh, uh, Lucio's cereal. And the sparkles don't make it more fun. It makes it worse, actually. So, you know, little girls, little boys, whoever wants to eat this cereal, I feel bad for y'all, because this is bad. It says magically, ma magic cupcakes. This is magically not delicious, more like sacrilegious. So now we come to the fever dream of a madman. This is Sour Patch uh, Kids cereal. Uh, as you can see, it's in a cereal box. There's also Sour Patch Kid ice cream tubs. Uh, Derek and Grace were apparently eating that uh, the other night. Who thought of this? It wasn't me, I swear. All right, it's sour then sweet. What does that mean in this context? It's by post, it's new, not limited edition. This might stick around, folks. This might be real. Uh, but post also makes some other cookie flavored, well, snack things. Nilla, banana pudding, very good. Chips Ahoy, I've not had yet. Nut or butter, I talked about that. Enjoy the nut and the butt. Uh, and then there's Oreos, which are fine. And on the back of the box, a sour then sweet tale. Do work. We don't want to finish the story, so you kids out there finish it for us. Um, you wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy, I guess. I don't know what to do with this. I'm not working for you, you post. You create the back of the box, not me. I bought it. I, I don't know the smell test. Is it going to smell like slime from the 80s? Like, you know, 80s toy slime? Oh. <laughs> oh my god! It, it it smells like Sour Patch Kids. That's amazing. I can smell place. it from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. can smell. Oh, you didn't even need to bring it that close. Holy guacamole! Oh, that's interesting. I am. I. A lot of people have been talking about this. A lot of um, uh, ground swell. A lot of buzz. A lot of buzz. All right, now look at these little kids. That's every color of the artificial rainbow right there. And now I'm gonna drown all these children in this milky lather. That's kind of a, that's science. <laughs> has ruined a lot of things for a lot of people. Dinosaurs, <laughs> that's about it. That does take a, taste a little bit like Sour Patch Kids and just a hint of it towards the end. It has a very nice crunch. It tastes like you're eating candy for cereal. I would not recommend this for any child, like on a daily basis. But as a special treat, maybe to give it out parties and loot bags, I don't know. Because I feel really weird eating it. it tastes different than Fruit Loops. I kind of expected it to taste like Fruit Loops. But that actually has a bit of a soury taste to it. The shape of a sour kid, doesn't taste like you're eating all those little party dicks that they give out at like bachelorette parties. <laughs> I don't have to try it. It does. Okay. <laughs> it does have, I don't, I assume that's what that tastes like, but because of their shape, and it's a very weird shape for cereal, yeah? They're just like these like little bottles. That's the weirdest thing I've tasted in a while. I think I ever will on, on keeping it cereal, until I get those bacon maple donuts. Ah, I just gotta sit here and think. Now I'm done thinking. Sour Patch Kids cereal gets a, there you go. Uh, so we have our final cereal here, Frosted Flakes. Uh, banana cream, uh, but I like this is a giant box, a family size box. So you know what that means. Can we? Ah! 
here we have Big and Rigatoni. <laughs> and uh, he's here to taste test uh, a banana cream cereal. You picked this, sir. I picked this, sir. It's from my youth. Frosted Flakes. Tony the Tiger. Great. And by the way, greetings from Papua Beach, Florida, my cold hearted friends back north. <laughs> Uh, so you grew up with uh, you Tony grew up Tiger. playing stickball with Tony in New Jersey, is that correct? Out, outside the Olive Garden. A little bit. Okay, good. Before we get to taste testing, now we can see that this uh, cereal is vertical. Yes. And when a little child is like, "Ah, oh, what's on the back of the box?" What the hell? So then, what will what will have to happen to read this? The kid's gonna have to do this. All the cereal goes on the floor, and they and the breakfast is ruined for everybody. What were they thinking here? I'm not sure. Uh, we have chocolate frosted flakes. Uh, you, you, uh, and you give me a one word sentence about what you feel, one word review word. about what you think of chocolate frosted flakes. Go. God's gift to humanity. Okay, that's good. Regular frosted flakes. For the mushy people in the world. Cinnamon frosted flakes. Ooh, adventurous types. And honey nut frosted flakes. Uh, I reserve. Okay. <laughs> I mean uh, and also here we have. Frosted Flakes Tiger Squad. It's apparently a 66 season television show. Lots of diversity. I, I guess, but is that even real? I doubt there are 66 the seasons. Yeah. No diversity in the 60s, sorry. This is one of the most bizarre back of the boxes I've ever seen. Um, in terms of stats, we are looking at, you know, 10 grams of sugar. It's one of the, the smaller ones on the smaller scale. And we are, we're rocking banana cream pie, I guess. And that's what kind of allured you to Tony's siren song here. The best mixed ever. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do a smell test of the cereal first. Uh, I'm in shower, does that and, count? Yeah, once it hits hits your, your nostrils, you tell me what you feel. A faint smell of somebody picking a banana. Off the floor. Off the floor, yeah, definitely banana. Yeah, yeah, definitely banana. That, that wasn't entirely great. Well, <laughs> great. Bananas per se. I'll reserve it till I take a test taste. It's not fake marshmallow banana, which is good. Who hates bananas? Who hates bananas? Nobody. I guess. It's right. so it's a good start. It's a good start. All right, here we go. Give me a little bit. There. They look like regular frosted flakes, I guess. It has been a while. And there you go, sir. Oh, oh. you got an extra big plate. Bowl. Now why is that? I don't would know. my girth have anything to do with that? Alright, I'll steal some then. Don't be a baby. Mom's gonna get jealous. Here She's... comes that milky lather. Mm. Do, you, do you want more, sir? No, 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 no he doesn't no, like no, milk. Don't spoil it with milk. Okay. It's way too healthy. Now, if you like sugar and you want to have a mouthful of crunchy sugar in your mouth, that was it. With a hint of banana. I, I had one spoonful that had absolutely no banana whatsoever. The first one did. It comes back. Dad, you, you just described cereal, Dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta get in deep. They should have had dried banana chips in there in addition to it. Brilliant. This is gold, Kellogg's. <laughs> I'm giving you gold. Free, free but you're right. The chunks of uh, dried banana. Or plantain for those who are so inclined. Yeah, no, but um, that just tastes like frosted flakes to me yeah. with a slight, slight end of banana. But I don't remember anything this the sugary. I'd be off the wall. They're called frosted flakes, dude. No, but that's not that much sugar. I'm, I'm positive there was not that much sugar in my. I'm my positive thing. there was more in the 50s. I didn't give a shit. <laughs> it was too much sugar. Wasn't it cocaine in the 50s? <laughs> Wasn't most things in the 50s cocaine? Good times. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm looking for a real super duper sugar high with a hint of banana, I know where to go. Not here. No. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's, I don't know if I have my, my grandchildren eat this myself. Like, maybe my parents didn't have those parenting skills to make me eat. Would you feed goblin hands? <laughs> <laughs> there were no such thing, but um, my mom let me eat that stuff for years, okay. not, not knowing how sweet it was. But this, it takes a, a, a whole lot of a higher level. I'm not sure I would it to the kids. Yeah. But I would probably eat again, as I'm going to do it right now. I give Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. They're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see where you went with that. Uh, Big Ange, what do you give uh, uh, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes banana cream? Uh, I give it a little bit of okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't go all the way. It hasn't saved my life. So, but it's not bad. That's not, it's not bad, this is my review. And All right, right, we're good for you, but, so but, 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 you can leave the premises But this is my condo, but no, You can leave the premises, open but, the door. But, 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 but I love open this. Open the door, I, can I, I, this, can I, can I bring this table with me? No, you no, can't. Right. Okay. Get out. Right. 
I hope he's not mad about that. He can have you killed. That concludes the Floridian uh, episode of Keeping It Serial. Uh, these were a very interesting mix. Uh, there were some surprises, some not so surprises. Like, goddamn, Sour Patch Kids, you brought it! You brought it! If anyone knows of any potential inductees into the Keeping It Serial Hall of Fame, uh, let me know in the comments or send me a box of whatever to. Yeah, I actually did it this time. So uh, remember, kids, keeping it serial.